Sighting down. Okay, so most of you know what this is. Maybe it's new for Najib and a few others, but uh, sighting down is um, the, the, the closest technique to it in the, in the Japanese Gokyo is uh, something called Yoko Otoshi. But sighting down, the way it's done uh, in modern competition is a little bit like kataguruma, a drop kataguruma, which is, which is a band technique. Okay, kataguruma, well, let me show you what kataguruma looks like. Kataguruma, the one that is banned is where you go down and you grab you grab Uke's uh, leg and then you throw him okay so that's that's kataguruma that's that's not allowed because you're not allowed to grab the legs anymore so side take down is very similar you drop down but you don't grab the legs okay you you, you, you grab a two on one you get a two on one grip and then you just throw it. and instead of dropping on both knees you split your legs and uh, you trip Uke over so I'll just show it to you very quickly and then we'll break it down okay so this is what the modern modern uh, side take down looks like okay so um, there are, first the grip there are uh, two ways to two basic ways to do it you can hold the triceps here which is the way that I like to do it hold the triceps and then this one you hold around here you can hold the gi or you can hold the wrist it's up to you okay so i usually hold like this the other other possibility is to hold the grip here okay if you decide to hold the lapel make sure it's over arm and not an underarm if it's underarm and uke has a strong strong arm when i drop down his his arm is still there you see he doesn't follow me down he because he's strong so i try to go down and the arm is still there whereas if he's over arm even if he's strong i can force him down i can force him down okay so i want to be able to force him down force him down now so that's that's for the arm you guys can decide whether you want to do triceps or you want to do lapel a lot of people like to do lapel so maybe we start with lapel uh, we, we start with lapel lapel here this one holds here now bear in mind in judo you can't hold a two on one for, for very long at all you have to attack immediately actually okay so if i got here and i don't think i have the technique i have to let go i have to let go if i hold on i will get a shido shido penalty okay so i've got a two on one this is the grip the next part is quite difficult for a lot of beginners which is you need to you need to sit down okay you a lot of beginners try to do this just from a standing position it won't work you get countered or it just won't work you have to actually sit down so uh i'm gonna try to do it slowly but actually it's difficult to sit down slowly but what you want to do is that you want to sit down like this you want to be in this position okay i'm gonna let go here your your leg is stretched out like this slightly bent and blocking uke's ankle okay the other one is bent like this so this is something like a hurtless stretch okay this is what you want to get at right and you want to get that from a standing position okay so it looks like this okay you saw how i sat down okay uh i think sir can you hold his belt go behind and hold his belt okay, that's the idea right there so i see this thing is blocking his leg this thing is blocking his leg this one is stretched out like this and i have him pulled over me like this okay so you can let go Come on. like that okay so the key thing you need to le learn the most difficult part is to sit down because psychologically for a lot of people it's very difficult to do that so they end up doing side take down like that they, they try to do it from a standing position if you don't sacrifice if you don't do this action if you don't do that it won't work if you try to do it from side take down like that it's not gonna work you have to you have to sit down okay so this is what it looks like okay so if you, you saw how i sat down you have to sit down you have to sacrifice okay one more this way okay so in all of this you saw i sat down 
All right, it's going to be quite difficult, but you have to practice that. Okay, so you work with your partner, you get the grip first, over arm, hold here, and practice sitting down. You don't have to practice throwing, just practice sitting down first. Okay, uh, maybe, uh, Nick, can you demonstrate it on Najib? Um, Najib, you stand. Now, you see how Nick sat down. Get up again. So, all of you who are new to this, watch, watch Nick's leg, watch how he enters. He goes sitting down. Okay, one more time. Okay, he enters sitting down. If you don't enter sitting down, you try to enter standing up, it won't work. 